Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Matt and welcome back to this tutorial series on Green's Mansion from Hermitcraft Season 7. In this episode we are going to be building up the next section of the room working up from where we left it last time and to be honest with you guys this is actually very close to the end now. I think this is possibly going to be the second to last episode so there's just one more after this or there might actually even be one more after that. A lot of you have been asking for an episode dedicated to some of the terraforming and I have said that I might well finish off with that. So maybe, maybe two more episodes after this but even then we are still very close to the finish here. So jumping right on in we're going to grab some cyan terracotta and go around each of these six pillars that are at the sides of the room and place a layer of cyan terracotta on top of each of them. Next we're grabbing some dark oak stairs starting at this pillar here which is in one of the front corners we're going to place upside down stairs there and there then on this middle pillar just like so and then on this back pillar like that and that and one more on this pillar next to the fireplace just above where that trap door is. So it's going to look like that and we're going to repeat that around this side of the room as well. Then at the front of the room here we're going to place some more sand terracotta. Two blocks there and two blocks just there with some upside down dark oak stairs on each of the ends like that and some dark oak planks running along just like so. Once you've finished placing all of those stairs, we're going to grab some grey terracotta and we're going to start from on top of these stairs just here, place some grey terracotta on top of them, bring it around like that. If we look in there, you can see how that goes around like that. Bring it across to the other side and then around so it goes on top of those stairs just like that. Now, from where we got to just there, we're going to place two more on the front of those last two blocks that we placed just like that. We're going to place glowstone on the side of that one with one piece of grey terracotta behind it, one piece in front of it, and then three more pieces running along the side like so. From this block of the grey terracotta just there, we're going to place one, two, three more blocks going like so. Then from this block, place a block, another block of glowstone, and another block of grey terracotta. And then from next to that glowstone, go one, two, three, four blocks of the grey terracotta. Wrap that grey terracotta around the side of the pillar just like this and bring it all the way across until it just touches the next pillar like that. Put some more grey terracotta on top of there with glowstone. Bring it across and then just before you hit these stairs place another block of glowstone like so and then go back to your grey terracotta and bring it across like that. So you have this three wide rectangle going between the two pillars. Grab some temporary blocks and place three of them along the top of that central pillar just like so. So we can then place three more blocks of the grey terracotta on top of them like that. And from this side run another line like we did between these first two pillars across between these two pillars and now we're doing the same thing as we did here. We're placing glowstone just there with a line of grey terracotta and more glowstone and another line of grey terracotta coming across like this so that we have our three wide rectangle again. Now that we have reached this back pillar we're going to continue around with the grey terracotta so we're going to wrap it around the side of that pillar like that and do another little zigzag around the front of those stairs and then from this block just next to the stairs there we're going to place glowstone next to them like that with two blocks coming behind that glowstone and one block next to it just like so. Then starting from next to this glowstone, go one, two, three in that direction. Start from this block now, go three more and three more just next to it. Actually, sorry, this last one next to the stairs needs to be a glowstone. Now to finish off this little section of grey terracotta wrapping around this side of the room, we're going to place two blocks like that starting from next to that glowstone, two more. Then come one out to the side like that, bring that back into the wall and one more into the side like so. And now everything we've just done wrapping around that side of the room, we're going to do the same wrapping around this side. Now once you've done all of that, this should be where you're at with your room. And our next stage, first we're going to go around all of this grey terracotta that we've just placed, placing two more blocks on top 
of it like so. You don't need to do this on top of all of the blocks of grey terracotta, just on top of the blocks which are visible if you look at it from inside the room like this. Then once you have placed all of those two blocks on top of that terracotta, we're going to grab ourselves some dark oak trapdoors and go around underneath and wherever there's a visible bit of glowstone, we're going to cover it over with a trapdoor. So this should now look like this. You can see from below here all of those trapdoors covering up our glowstone. And if we come up from above, you can see how we've placed that grey terracotta like so. Now our next stage, we're going to grab some dark oak signs. And we're going to do a bit of decoration with these. The first place we're going to place these is if you find your front wall and you find the center block of there. So if you just go up from this central sea lantern, that is our central block. We're going to place a dark oak trapdoor on there. And then we're going to go across to each side with some dark oak signs like so. Then at the sides of the room, from this central pillar, we're going to place some dark oak planks on either side like so with a trapdoor on top and below each of them. Place a dark oak trapdoor in the middle like that with some signs going across like that. And then on these walls, place dark oak trapdoors there and there and that should leave space for two signs on either side of each of those. Do that for both sides of the room and we are then ready to move on and work a little bit on the chimney at the back here. So the first thing we're going to do here is find our central three blocks to our chimney and on top of this blackstone at the top we're going to build up a three wide rectangle of blackstone that is a total of 17 blocks tall. Once you have that on either side of it we're going to build up polished blackstone walls to the same height with more blackstone on the outside of those again to the same height. And now once you've got that, we're going to switch to some basalt and at the corners here, build up a pillar of basalt again to the same height as the rest of it. Moving back down to the base of our chimney now, we're going to grab some polished blackstone brick stairs. And starting from just underneath this block of the grey terracotta here, we're going to place stairs wrapping around just like so. So the edge one here should just be at the edge of our central three blocks of blackstone. Then come back in and this time starting from this block, we're going to place more stairs and they're going upside down. This time a little bit fiddly, but there we go. And they're coming around to one block less than this one. And we're going to take two sole lanterns and place them on the corners just like that. Now place two polished blackstone walls on top of each other between the lanterns like that. Then go back to our stairs, wrap them around from that block to there. And then again on top, go upside down and wrap them around one further with a sole lantern on each corner and polished blackstone stairs now running up to the top of this basalt. And then once we've got that, we can do all of this on this side over here. So that should look like that. And before we move on, slight mistake on that last clip, these stairs that's the upper set of stairs, you need to come all the way back into the wall just like so. Moving on, we're gonna go back to some of our gray terracotta. Come to this section here at the front of the room, and then come behind it and run a line of the gray terracotta along like that. So this section here is now two blocks wide, and we're gonna put another block at the end just there, and at the end just over here. Then coming around this way, we're gonna come around behind this block, go one, two, three, four blocks that way, and on this one, one, two, three blocks, two blocks there, two blocks there, and one block just there. Then behind these two blocks here, place two blocks like that, and one more back like that, and then run this one all the way down this side until we reach there, and fill in that gap, and fill in this gap in the middle, and then do those last couple of steps again over on this side. Once you've done that, you can come back to this side, Behind these blocks here, you know, one, two, three blocks there, and around that corner, and then around that bit just there. Now to finish this section off, if we look here, you have this 
three blocks going in diagonal there with a two wide section on each side of it. We're going to go from this central block here and we're going to go straight back for one, two, three blocks and connect it across into this bit, fill in that gap and then last of all extend this bit of terracotta back by one block so that it touches the wall there and again repeat those last few steps over on this side. Coming back to the front of the room we're going to grab some dark oak planks and on this block just here so that's just the side of where the door is we're going to build one two three four five six seven blocks of those dark oak planks come over in a diagonal and do the same in that bit just there so one two three four five six and seven then in this block here just in the middle of them we're going to place some spruce wood just there you're going to do the same on the other side of the room which should look like this and we can then grab some gray concrete and on top of each of these pieces of spruce wood we're going to build it up until it's one two three four five blocks higher than where we built those dark oak planks up to now in this gap between them we're going to build a rectangle of gray concrete that's the same height as these and it's going to be set back by one block so it's going to be just here we're going to fill this whole gap in with that concrete once you have that it should look like this and we're next going to grab some blackstone slabs come to the top of this pillar of the dark oak planks just there place one blackstone slab against it like that and from here build it out so it's one block further out than this do that again and on this one build it out so it's one block further again we're going to do the same over here Oops, just like that and then build across and fill in this gap here with more of those slabs once we've got that we want to put a bit of decoration onto this wall just here so that it's not just a blank slab of concrete so we're going to come over here leave one block gap between the wood and replace this block here with a sea lantern do the same on this side and then grab some warped trapdoors and build a line of warped trapdoors going up the wall like that and again the same over here now in the middle of this wall there used to be a big G for green however when they swapped bases Zidaf changed it to a Z and it looks like green never changed it back so a Z is what we're going to be putting here we're going to start by grabbing some warped planks and build them in a line across just like that with one on top of that we're then going to change to some warped slabs place two on top of each other like that one there with another one next to it and another one on top of that then one to the side there and one two three on top and then build it across just like so until we finish our Z now the last thing to do on this wall before we move up a bit is to go back to our sea lantern find the central blocks here and just behind it replace that block with another sea lantern like so now moving up to create the little balcony that we have just here we're going to grab some polished blackstone brick stairs and just on that block here next to where we have these blackstone slabs we're going to place some upside down stairs like that and then build these stairs around following the outline of where we put these blackstone slabs we're going to do it all the way around until we hit that block just there next we're going to go back to our dark oak planks on top of these blocks we're going to build up two on top of these blocks we're going to build up one two three four five to the same height as these and across two like so and do that over here as well and once we have that we can grab some stone and fill in this whole area behind those upside down stairs that we placed with stone as i'm doing just here now we obviously don't want anyone falling off of this balcony so to create our railing we're going to grab some anvils and place them along all of the edge blocks like this and then that should leave you two blocks there and two blocks there which we're going to place cauldrons on top of so we're nearly done with this balcony now what we're going to do now assuming that everything has been measured correctly we should be able to break out all of this black concrete just here and find that we are on exactly the same level 
as the balcony out here so we can now walk through between the two. We're going to go back to our grey concrete now and next to each of these dark oak planks here we're going to place two blocks like that and build them up to a total height of 11. So let's see that's 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Build up both of those blocks to that height there and the same over here. Now to finish this section off we're going to place sand terracotta in each of those corners and follow this edge with our grey concrete so place it there, there and across the top there. One more line of grey concrete across the top like that so we should have this 2 by 3 rectangle in here which we're going to have two, hang two soul lanterns in there like that and we're also going to take some dark oak trapdoors oh, don't place it that way, place it there against that wood and the same on this side and last of all around the top of these bits of the dark of the grey concrete sorry place our dark oak trapdoors there and there and dark oak trapdoors there and there that is us all done with the front of the room for now and the last thing we're going to do in this episode is build the balconies that go around the side of this level so to start this we're going to come to the side of the chimney here and with some grey concrete we're going to build out one two three blocks from there and one two three four blocks across just like that and now from here we're going to start marking out the outer edge of this balcony here now we're going to be doing this with some stripped warped wood and like we did in the other episode down here, we want the grain of that wood to be vertical, which means we want to be placing it on top of stuff like that and not to the side there. We can see that's like it's moving to the side. So to do this, we're going to be laying out some temporary blocks to build it on. And I'm going to be using yellow concrete to make it obvious what is the temporary blocks. For those of you doing this on survival, I recommend again, like I did in the last episode, just use any cheap block like dirt or anything that you happen to have a lot of that you can spare. To begin this, we are going to place the first temporary block underneath that last block of the grey concrete that we placed, and then build one to the side. And from here, we're going one, two, three back, and across one, then two back, and across one, two back, and across one again, two back, and across one again, two back, and across one again, two, three, four, and two back, and across one once more. So we've got this line of three blocks here, followed by five sets of two blocks. So now from this block we're going to build up across two blocks like that and then one block this way we're now going forward towards the front of the mansion. Two blocks to the side again and one block forward. Two blocks to the side, one block forward, two blocks to the side, one block forward and once more two blocks to the side and one block forward. Now from this block we're going to be doing something very similar again where we're going to be going two blocks that way towards the front followed by one block that way towards the middle. And we're going to be doing this seven times. So two and one, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, and then two blocks that way is seven. From that last block we place, we're going to go one last block in towards the middle there. Then come one, two, three blocks that way towards the front of the mansion and a block back that way out towards the edge. And then come one more block forward, two blocks out towards the edge, and one, two, three, four blocks towards the front. Next from there, we're gonna be going one block inwards and two blocks forwards, a total of six times. So that's one, two, three, four, five, and six and then from there one more block in like that now from there we're going to be going 12 blocks that way which if we've done everything right one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve perfect should end just in that corner between these two walls and last of all to finish off this outline for this side we're going to build that across until it hits that wall just there then go one two three four back that way, one to the side and one back and one to the side and whoops one back once more which should leave you with this one block gap between that block and the great terracotta just there. Before we do anything else we're going to go and do everything we just did 
in its mirror image over on this side. Once you have done that for both sides like I have here, we're going to go around and on top of every temporary block we've just placed, we're going to place a piece of the stripped warped wood like so. And then on top of all of that stripped warped wood, we're going to place warped planks. Our last step in building this outline is to go along with a bunch of warped stairs, placing them upside down on top of all of these warped planks. So we're going to take some grey concrete and build up two blocks just there, just so we have a block to start ourselves off of. Place your upside down warped stairs like that. But you will see that when we get to these corners here, as we place those upside down stairs around like that, there is a gap here. So before we go any further with these stairs, we're going to go around and inside all of these corners, we're going to fill in those gaps with some warped planks. And once we've done that, we can then go around and finish off with our stairs. That completes the outline of both of those two balconies. And what we can now do is fill in the floor of these by taking some cyan terracotta and filling in the gap between that outline and all of the gray terracotta. And there we go, that is the floor of those balconies done. And the next stage now is the walls that go around. So we have the outline here, we now need to build these up a bit more. So we're gonna start again at the back over here and with more gray concrete, build from here up one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven and build that all the way back into the wall, just like this. Once we've done that, we're gonna to switch to our warped planks. We're gonna place one in there to fill in that gap, one over here to fill in that gap, and then come around here, and just behind this bit here, place two like that. And we can now take our cyan terracotta, and one block back from all these upside down stairs that we placed, we can start building up cyan terracotta to the same height as this. Now a lot of it, like around here for example, it's already there, we're already against the wall, but there's places like this bit right here we need to fill it in, so build up there. All the rest of this around here looks okay. A oh, bit there, four, five, six, seven. And then keep doing this all the way around until we reach that bit just there. The last thing we are gonna do with this bit of wall here, once we've built up those walls on both sides of the room, is take some more warped stairs and run them around the top. So the first thing we're gonna do is take some temporary blocks and run them along the top of our gray concrete just here. So we can then take our warped stairs and place them like this. They're going the right way up this time as opposed to upside down. But there are gonna be points like here where you might need to break some blocks depending on how you placed this roof. I don't even know how many episodes it was ago we were building this. As you can see, there are some of my blocks here that I used as the starting point for placing this roof and I'll need to break them but that's fine because as you can see I break these it doesn't show through the outside. So I'm going to keep bringing these stairs all the way around and they're going to follow this wall all the way around the top and the last stairs I'm going to place are going to go just there just before we reach where this little tower is. Now with that done on both sides these two balconies are looking rather good but this is looking at them from above. So if we come down here and look at them from below, we see it's not quite the same story. There's a little bit more work to do under here. So the last thing we're gonna do in this episode is sort out the underside of these balconies. We're gonna begin in this corner over here near a little opening out onto this side balcony. And we're gonna take some stripped warped wood and up here, one block above the top of where this wall is, we're gonna start wrapping this around the edge like so as far as that and for this next section coming along here we're going to go two this way and fill in that gap next to the wall do that again and again and keep doing this all the way along this section of wall until we get to just here when we get to this stretch, we're gonna go back to just wrapping it around the edge so that it looks like this. And then to go along this wall, we're gonna go two that way, and again, fill in the gap like we did over here. Then across this section, 
just do a zigzag following that along and then we get to here when it starts going back to a two block diagonal go back to going two that way fill in the gap two that way fill in the gap and do this across the rest of this wall until we get to here last two that way and fill in that last little gap just there and now we have this line of the strip warped wood going all the way around the edge of that wall what we then want to do is have a line of warped stairs that follows this around so starting back over here at this corner we're going to place some sign terracotta on top of that piece of the strip warped wood like that have some stairs facing in that direction and then from those just start bringing them around like this you can break that one there because it's in our way and just keep bringing them around like this so those stairs are the right way up and they're one block out from the edge of where all of that strip warp wood is and we're going to do this all the way around until we get over to that once you've done that it should look a little something like this and the last stage now starting with sign terracotta on top of each of those stairs is to place sign terracotta coming across in a layer like this so that we form a bit of a ceiling here there we go i've pretty much done that and before we go over and do it all on this side there's a couple of last bits to show over here first of all you may find that there's a couple of gaps like this particularly around the pillars so whenever you have that it's very easy to sort this out and fill it in just add a little bit more sign terracotta to the top of these pillars and that will close up those gaps very nicely there and then the other thing if we come down here oh one more pillar just there we come down here you can see that I've done this ceiling all the way in and around here and then when we come in here the ceiling comes this way as far as the edge of where this wall is because in the next episode probably the first thing we'll do in the next episode is close up this little section of wall across that so that is how far this ceiling needs to come and there we go I have done all of that on both sides and I think this is where I'm gonna call it an episode and yeah I'm from where we've got in this one I feel fairly confident in saying that this is gonna be the second to last episode there's gonna be one more left although maybe not counting a potential bonus terraforming one at the end so yeah that does it for another episode of this series on Green's Mansion I hope you have enjoyed it and if you did then hit the like button leave me a comment letting me know what you thought and subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss any future videos from me as always, there will be up-to-date world downloads in the description along with links to my Twitter and Discord. Until next time, I've been Matt, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!